Hi, I'm Joe. And I'm Digna. Welcome to Relationships. We're a couple having a few. I can't believe the news today. It's Sunday, bloody Sunday, folks. (laughs) No one's bleeding, though. (laughs) I mean, someone somewhere is bleeding. Hopefully not tragically. I mean, maybe they're donating blood for a good cause. We'll we'll pretend the world is perfect and that's what's happening. Okay. This episode's going to follow the Dave, David and Alexis. Alexis. Yeah, so that, that great double episode that you guys just listened to. That Let, was hilarious. Let's just say I feel like it was more business like the first episode we did. And then, you know, all those beers in and just a little bit got a little bit loose toward the end. It, it You mean the uh, shots of um ready, ready whip. whip? Yeah. <laughs> and Dave walking off and you hear like, Hey, I'm way over here. You know, you hear it. So yeah, it was it was a fun editing experience to say the least. I would say it was quirky. But yeah, so I think that, I mean, we've already done a few episodes like that where we interview some people uh, in addition to just having our own... Our own boring voices. Re- yeah, so we're g- you're going to hear about our relationship, whether you like it or not. But others' relationships, that's going to be something I think we're going to try to... We all get to learn about yeah, each other. Just get to hear about our friends, our maybe complete strangers that we start becoming friends with because we learn about them or strangers we wrangle off the street to talk exactly to us. like hey you want to drink beer and talk come on in so who knows uh but yeah that's what i i think it'd be kind of a neat thing to have episodes like that as you can probably tell they were very long episodes so i think the uh, i don't know if they would all be that long well well th- we know them and you we know had, we had 12 beers and we had through. we had a lot of Homework to get through for homework. <laughs> yeah, so I think that that's going to be maybe not that many or not that long, but definitely going to be something we're going to explore more in the future. So, so if you'd like to join us. Yeah, hit, yeah, exactly. Let us know if you're like, I would, I've would. i always wanted to be on a podcast. Boom. I, and I just helped Specifically you. Specifically spilling all of my personal relationship guts. Yes. Go for it. And, and, and you know what? If it's something on your bucket list, let me help you with your bucket list. If it's your goal to say yes more this year, let us know. Throwback to Alexis. Hi, Alexis. Hi, Alexis. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we just wanted to kind of do a little update. When this airs, we will, will we be done with Java? We will. We will be done. So, yay, we're done with Java. Wink, wink. No, we are in our last week now, but by the time this airs, we will have finished our last week of Java. And we'll have started our new week. Yay. Of Java 2. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Nobody wants to hear about that. Yeah. Most yeah, of all us. N- yes, I want to be as surprised as the rest of the world. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, so we do have an event in like... Seven months? Is that how long? Seven, eight months? Yeah, probably more than that. I mean... What are we in? I guess we're in October. Yeah, I guess... Yeah, about nine months from now. Um, No, not that kind of nine months. No. Um, yes, not, not that... Ru- I mean, kind of. No. Because it's my birthday. Oh. Yeah, so... Yes. I'll Someone be, was born. In June, I will be 40. So, because You'd of be that... You'd be 40? You be 40, <laughs> nice. Hmm, maybe I can have them play at my party. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm sure they're available. I'm, I'm sure you can swing and, that. Or maybe still alive. I don't know. I don't know. And uh, because I'm 40, I'm trying to get rid of some uh, some LBs that... Oh, is that like a goal? Like 40, losing 40 or... I'm gaining 40 years, but losing 40 pounds. Yeah, losing 40 for 40. Yeah, I don't know how that works. Four for 40? 40 would be a lot for me to lose. I'd... No, that's too many. It I, is too many. I am not 40 pounds overweight. 40 divided by two for 40? Uh, my 20 again? I don't know. Uh, the second, stretch. my second 20th birthday? Lose 20? I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to try to slim down. So because of that, I am going to only drink... Alcoholic beverages. Al- alcohol. No, no, at all. At all. I'm, I'm going to <laughs> okay. completely dehydrate myself. 
uh, right for, for the show. Now, so I'm going to, at least for a while, drink so I can slim down, lose a couple of LBs and all that kind of stuff. But even right now, I did drink earlier today, but I did post stuff to social media and all that. So I'm going to count it as... Work stuff. Uh, as work stuff. So what you're saying is you're only drinking at work. Yes. Okay. Drink. Got it. So I am drinking an AHA sparkling water right now. Aha. So I do have a beverage. So this is still Relation Sips. I sipped on the apple ginger flavor. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about these these flavored waters. They're not sweetened. So they're not like the ones that are pretty much just Sprite. You know, they are unsweetened, but they've got the flavors, kind of like the the LaCroix, Hinto, Hinto lime thing. <laughs> but let me know what you guys yes, think about that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like, what, there was something like maybe a watermelon farted in the vicinity <laughs> of one of these waters. Is kind one of, of the trucks, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to slim down and be less of a, a, a chubby hubby and more of a, I don't know, a silver fox. I don't know. I'm not sure. silver yet. Um, <laughs> I'll work on the being silver. And uh, so that's kind of my 40th birthday kind of resolution. Just putting it out there so that yeah. everyone can keep him accountable. Speaking of 40, why doesn't the word 40 have a U in it? Maybe because they're referring to a fort, like F-O-R-T, like you're fortifying yourself for being older. Oh, I thought you were going to say like- You're not four times ten. You're, you're fortifying yourself for the future. Oh, I thought you were saying like fort, like a fortnight. No. Oh, which is what, 20 which days? Makes probably more sense. But 20 day or 20 days, I think, is a fortnight. Sure. I don't know. I definitely wasn't saying fart with a weird accent. <laughs> I'm getting all 40 soon. <laughs> I'm super 40. The older you get, the 40 you are. And now that I said I'm going to try to drink less, good news, I'm going to be starting up drinking and driving again. <laughs> Woo! So what he's saying is he's going to, here's my air quotes, they're really loud, drinking less, which means we're going to probably have a lot more content coming up because he's going to be super motivated to do episodes. You know what? If that's what it takes and I don't lose any weight, but we have more content, then not saying it's worth it, but hey, <laughs> at least I'm drinking with a reason. What's that weird commercial? Whatever it takes. What, there, David, Ma- David it. Moss Toyota. Whatever it takes. <laughs> that's what it takes. I'm really good at it. That's what it is. Jingles. That's what it was that one time. So yes, drinking and driving. I have been in contact with a couple of breweries and actually uh, I'm working on a cidery, cider, cider works, cider works. Cidery. I like cider works better. Uh, I'm working on one of them as well. So We'll see. Hopefully, drinking and driving will get some new content real soon. And I'm really excited about that because it's been a long time. Really enjoyed. I enjoyed. Was it like March was the last time we did one? Yeah, I think March was the last time we did one. February? Like officially, I think. April 7th was the last release date. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes, So, yeah, March was the last one that I actually did. So, I'm really excited about doing the show again. It's fun. I mean, I love doing this one as well. This has been great. But, and I'm not going to stop this one. This one's still going to continue. I think this one's it's more fine. special. It's going to leave me. Mm-hmm. It's going to leave me for another. Another. Never mind. An- another was, co-host. No, I was going to say for another D, as in drinking and driving, instead of digna. But then it just sounds like, like I'm leaving didn't. you for a D. Yeah, yeah. I'm not yeah. leaving her for a D. That is for D. Am sure. <laughs> <laughs> a DM sure about a that. DM not doing that. Today was a good uh a good Sunday. We we went this is gonna sound like I actually edited that, by the way. The yeah, way you the, just kind of the way that I jumped cut it's me gonna off it's gonna sound like a hilarity bad. and just I mean let's not get crazy with hilarity. Hilarity. <laughs> is that a word? Hilarity. Hilarity ensued, yes. Hilaridocious. We went to <laughs> Laporte Farms, not to be we will, 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 not to rewind, be rewind, rewind. We woke up this morning to four beautiful monarch butterflies being born on our front porch. They weren't being born; they were being born again, <laughs> like in the Bible. That's not how that goes. Well, that's all I got. Yeah. yeah had, anyway, I had a whole. Um, they depupated. Whole, uh, I don't know if I like that word. Uh, we had a, a montage of 
montage of monarchs. <laughs> a montage of monarch caterpillars come by um, last week, and they all became chrysalises. And this morning, uh, we got to watch either four or five of them come out of their chrysalis. And by the time we we went out, as Joe was saying, we went out today and went on a little bit of a, an adventure. But when we came back, they were all gone. So we've got, I think, four more left that should be probably coming out tomorrow, if not the day after. Yeah, they, they start off like this, I don't know, sea foam color, maybe? Mm-hmm. They, they, they're they like a sea foam. I mean, it's a very pretty color. And uh, in the last day or two, it becomes less vibrant and darker, almost kind of grays out a little bit. Mm-hmm. And then it actually... It becomes clear. Yeah, then it actually clears up and you can see... The Which actual monarch not, on the inside. I'm actually not sure if I have to read about it. If the encasing itself is green or sea foam and then becomes clear, or if somehow the creature inside—I think the creature inside—is actually green and changes color. Maybe like what happens? It's like those fancy windows on that that 787 that we rode yes. on, where you hit it and it just tints. Yes. That yeah. is what the self tint, not self tinting, because you have to push a button. But that is what these primitive creatures do. Adjustable is, tinting is use their fancy tinting. But yeah, so we woke up to that. We got to watch a whole bunch of them come out, and we got to watch the remnants of, but missed a rocket launch right around the same time. And then I got to uh, get my peace load on. Excuse me. <laughs> you know exactly what it is. <laughs> I don't know. Did we mention it in a previous episode? I don't think so. Pumpkin spice latte, PSL. But if you really like them, you're kind of a slut for them. So I'm a peace slut. He is. Like, I think way more than I am. Uh, it's, it's very, very fun to watch. I love pumpkin spice. And that's why I really enjoyed those last episodes. Minus a couple of beers that I was, you know, not super happy with. They can't but- all be winners. But just like pumpkin spice can't all be winners. I mean, I had some pumpkin spice ice cream yesterday that was a da bomb. And I really wish that my coffee cream would taste it like had, that. Desmond wore a lot of ice cream yesterday. He was da bombed out with ice <laughs> he was, cream. He was da mess. He was a da mess big time. So I rinsed him off with da hose <laughs> in da <de> porch. <laughs> like a da pig. Yeah, that was fun. But yeah, anyway, so this morning after the butterflies, after the rocket launch, we peace let it ourselves out. <laughs> no, we did not do it. We I had use it that way. We had coffee. <laughs> <laughs> we had coffee, and we went to uh, Laporte Laporte Farms. That, yeah, down in Sebastian. Which honestly, I'd never been there, but it's really nice. It's not a petting zoo, but you can get food and you can feed. put your hands into the enclosements. 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 Definitely. <laughs> Enclosures? Thank you. Encroachment? What were you saying? <laughs> Encroach. Yes. I don't even I have no idea what she's up to. Enforcement. Yeah. But yeah, you can but they have the uh like carrots. Carrots and, and stuff and you feed, can feed. You yeah. Can give the animals. Yeah, yeah they have can, a lot a lot of neat animals. Them. They just they have a lot of warnings on the, the cages that say, you know, animals may nibble. It says do not kiss the parrot on the Did peak. it say that? No, but it should have. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> yeah, it was really it was neat to walk around. They had um, beehives, they had zebras, they had I think it was supposed to be a butterfly enclosure. Maybe that's the word I was trying to think of. Enclosure. Encroachment. Um, but it was an apiary uh right now, so there were a bunch of Aviary. Aviary. What's an apiary? Apparently apes go in there. <laughs> an <Lord>. apiary. <laughs> an apiary is a thing, is it? It's no. a coronary. Uh <laughs> <laughs> uh, the dairy what area. They have. They had some cute little farm kitties running around. Oh, let's go back um, to the beehives. Oh, beehive! Mm, I knew you were going there, <laughs> and I appreciate you for that. You're welcome. So the uh, the beehives, you can actually sponsor a beehive. Mm-hmm. And yes, Laporte Farm, go there definitely. There, you know, it's a neat place. If especially if you have. Children under the age of 10, I would say. Yeah, 10's good. Yeah, under the age of 10, they like animals and stuff. A really neat place. Pony rides. Or if you've got one of those apps where you can um, take pictures of wildlife. The Seek Seek is one of the apps that we have. And it's just fun to take pictures of plants or animals. It tells you what it is. And and you find names of different plants that or animals you didn't know. 
Um, so it's kind of, that's kind of a neat app. So the Seek app, if you guys are there and you're looking to sponsor me, sponsor me. Seek app. I recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> you don't have to take my word for it, yes, you but do, do take do my it. word for Just it. Just do it. But yeah, it's a neat one. So you can actually use your smartphone, take a picture of uh, whatever nature is out there Nature. and find out whether it's edible or not. I'm just kidding. That's not that what it's meant for. That definitely tells you in the beginning. <laughs> it specifically says... Do not eat anything. Even if the picture says it's edible, the picture may not be 100% correct. Um, but it's really neat. It po- points you in the right direction on a lot of things like that. But yeah, they had turkey. They had all sorts of different breeds of chicken and fowl and all that kind of stuff. So really neat place. But they the beehives, you can sponsor one for five years. Mm-hmm. It's $500, Mm -hmm. but when you sponsor it, it's almost like advertisement. Like if you had a business. You you are allowed to paint it any way you want. So if you had a business, i.e. maybe a podcast or two. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just per se. And then maybe that – oh, and you also get with your – A gallon of honey a year. A gallon of honey a year. So a gallon of – I feel like the gallon of honey – itself not that it's worth a hundred dollars no but like a gallon of good local honey is pretty expensive yeah i think i spent like 60 bucks when i made that sizer the the mead cider Mm -hmm. hybrid yes so yeah and i mean we had the honey for a long time because i didn't use the whole gallon but but i think it was like 60 bucks for that at the brew store so yeah i mean it's it's not that far off but but make a beer drink the beer for the podcast so not only is it like considered a sponsorship like you know your uh, advertisement cost Mm -hmm. but it's also just write it off yeah write it off just write it off i don't know you just write it off and they pay you back (laughs) (laughs) who is they (laughs) just that wasn't a random reference that was a schitt's creek uh reference if you haven't seen it you should yep sponsored by schitt's creek man everyone (laughs) everyone is sponsoring the show that's how hot of a show this is i mean I mean, if you say they're sponsoring you, they have to sponsor you, right? That's, in some way, shape, or form. Yeah, that's that's like... Like literally just when you tag them in a post. They that have, That's just like if you say, are you a police officer? They have to they tell have you. To it's tell just you. like that. It's that kind of a law. If you say you're, um, they're going to sponsor you, they have to do it. Yeah, I mean, that's just the way it is. <laughs> you're going to sponsor me. Dang it. <laughs> I was hoping <laughs> you wouldn't life. say that. But yeah, so we went to Laporte Farm, super fun. And then we dropped in on Peridolia again on our way home because it was totally on our way home. No, it wasn't. And I mean, it was pretty much on the way we home. We had to go south to go back north. <laughs> you have to turn left to go right. Exactly. I mean, but it, come on. It was barely out of the way. But it wasn't not out of the and way. And what did we see there? Ukuleles. That was like, uh. <laughs> ukuleles. Yeah, we saw a group of folks playing ukulele, which was super fun. We got to hear a bunch of old songs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there was just, and it wasn't a band. Yeah, it wasn't it, a concert. Or they, there was like a little stage out there, and it was like a, a group of ukulele players uh, brought to you by ukulele players. Of Sponsor us. Paradolia? Paradolia ukulele. That's just fun to was say. It? No, I don't know. I don't. It just said ukes. Peridoli ukulele. We'll work on it. But these uh, ukulele players, uh, there's maybe uh, ten of them. Yeah, at least. And but there were more people there, like watching as well. So for the most part, everyone who was there was also playing along. So it was kind of like a play along practice slash show. Yeah, like they were sitting in their lawn chairs, just strumming along. And the per- the two people on stage, I I assume husband and wife, just seemed like it. They would strum on theirs and sing while everybody else in the audience was kind of strumming. And they're like, okay, we're going to play this song. And I think they get in a group and they kind of practiced it throughout the week. And then they play it. And then like another group came up or another two came up and they started strumming. Yeah, it was pretty cool. It was, it was awesome. Um, well, yeah. When we first sat down, I think we were one of like three people or maybe four people that didn't actually, they weren't actually playing. Everybody else there was playing. I, well, I was air ukuleleing, mm-hmm. ukulele mm-hmm. So yeah, totally. I mean, I was in. You were so mentally on stage. You were you were not part of not, it. You were not right. strumming I anything. Am not like you at all. You're correct. <laughs> and one thing I the first time I've ever seen this was, uh, you know, they were up there on stage and there was a ukulele bass. Yeah, there was. That was very strange to me. So this is tiny little boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I. I- 
knew that those existed just because in looking for the strings for hours, which is a normal one, and I know normal is not the right word right now, but for whatever the normal ukulele is, I've I've run across that term of like the bass ukulele, and I didn't imagine it being that bassy, but it was all about that bass. And I'm not all about that kind of treble. <laughs> it's not happening. <laughs> oh, maybe it was a treble ukulele. No, maybe those be. are the strings. I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea about any of these things, but it was actually very neat to just hear boom, boom, boom. While the, it, was, while the, <laughs> it was not playing that kind of it was playing polka. It was playing polka. That's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we should have, speaking of polka, we should have uh, totally seen if you could interview somebody at the German place that we went to. Yeah, especially if we had to drink beer there. Yeah, ziggy zaggy, ziggy zaggy, oi, oi, oi. Because you know they don't have a flight there. If you're drinking a flight, it's going to be like one liter pours. That's a, uh, what's that big giant plane? The Concorde? That's not the right word at all. The Concorde's the one that goes across. That's stopped. That doesn't fly anymore? Yeah. It'll be like, that. that'll be the flight. Flight of the Concorde? Sure, but they're huge. Like, the Concorde is huge. Never mind, cut it out. I, Cut it but, out. But where are you going with the flight of the Concord? You said it wouldn't be not the flight of the Concord. Oh, <laughs> you said it wouldn't be a flight, and I'm saying a flight on a normal plane is a smaller. Oh, you're plane. saying you're saying it would be a very short flight. Or are you talking about the Spruce Goose, like the huge plane? I don't know what I'm talking about. The Howard know. Hughes plane. I don't know. If you guys are are aviation buffs. Or and, apiary buffs. and or you know who my <laughs> wife is and know anything about her, maybe you can help me. Maybe you can sponsor me. I'm tired. <laughs> I'll give you a gallon of complaints every year. <laughs> I don't know. That is that is not a good. You're trip. welcome. I have to give you five hundred dollars for you to give me a gallon of complaints. Yeah, give me money. Horrible. Give me money. Horrible. Money, money please. please. All right, we're at Digna's favorite part of the show. <laughs> Nailed it. I mean, she does that perfect. Poddex. Poddex.com. And also, they legally now sponsor us. That's the way it works. <laughs> Money, please. What is the weirdest thing you've ever eaten? So, I feel like this could be two. This could be grossest. Yeah. I don't think I have weirdest. a grossest. I'm not big on, like... I mean, I can tell you the, the grossest thing I've ever eaten. Blue cheese. There you go. Done. End of show. Thank you. Oh <sighs> have a good night. such a baby. What? <laughs> of all the disgust, you he ate tripe two days in a row on purpose. <laughs> but the grossest thing he's ever eaten is blue cheese. What is wrong with that? You? Tripe was delicious, and I got it at the Jamaican place but up you the know, street. Here's, you know Sponsor what? us, Jamaican place up the street. <laughs> Money, please. <laughs> Money, please. <laughs> or pay us in tripe. Ugh. <laughs> I'll be honest, the tripe was actually quite good. They seasoned it very well. But the problem is the inside of the <laughs> she, tripe. She was I, like, Bleh. I pictured it yesterday. There were two little pieces, tiny little pieces left. And I was like, I'm going to eat this and I'm going to face it. Like, my biggest problem with tripe is the inside of the tripe. And to me, it looks like one of those like cheap sponges. It looks like a sponge. <laughs> and the thought of eating something that looks like a sponge that acts like a sponge, but that actually just held shit at some point <laughs> it's a, is a major It's a poo problem. sponge. Is a, exactly. Dig the poo hole. <laughs> so, yes, it was seasoned well. I, I did eat two small pieces, and I gagged on the second one. I ate um, the entire Mama Luke. He did, on purpose, and with a smile. With butter beans. It was, it was delicious. I would say, like, it was disgusting, but I, I, when I read that card, the very first thing that popped into my head was in Monterey when I lived in California a long time ago. I went to eat sushi for the very first time ever, not having known anything about sushi. And all I could like attribute it to was seafood that I had eaten in the past. And so I grew up eating like squid and octopus, you know, like in a, in a Spanish rice or something like that or fried or whatever, or, or, you know, like calamari. So I'm thinking, yeah, we're tripe. Calamari. No, we didn't eat that. Um, (laughs) Nope. Rug. So, <laughs> so I remember ordering sushi the way I would order like seafood that I knew that was cooked. So I ordered octopus and I ordered, um, was it calamari or clam? No, I got clam because we used uh-huh. to eat a lot of like linguine and clam sauce. 
So I was like, oh, I'll get clam. So you sushi. dove into the deep end of like, sushi. Like and you'd the, never had sushi really before? literal deep, the deepest of the deep trench in the ocean. She ate Kraken. <laughs> <laughs> and it was but Kraken. so chewy. So, you know, when you first eat, it's kind of like when you first drink beer. And maybe it didn't happen for everybody. But you drink it and you're like, this isn't really this that is good. Heaven. That's, oh, no, no because usually it's crappy beer anyway. And so, like... You just kind of get used to it. So I'm not saying the sushi's gross and that you get used to it, but it, it has a very distinct flavor that you have to get used to. Most Americans don't just eat seaweed, like naturally, like my son does. But so just trying to get over the the strange rice, which was very different from what I grew up eating, the seaweed flavor, which is something I'd never eaten before, and then the fact that I was what felt like literally chewing on a, a bag of rubber bands Yummy. trying to eat the clam and <laughs> the octopus <laughs> was terrible. Oh, it was terrible. I thought you were going to say delicious. No, wow. it was not. So that was the weirdest thing? Because it wasn't like a tempura. Or was that considered gross? It was just like they sliced this maybe mm. steamed clam. I don't even know how. So would you say it was like if you think back at it? It was not gooey it, at all. It was super chewy. No, I was going to say, if you think back on it, would you would you think now? Would I you think know, that it was good? It. I don't want it. No. Because you've ruined yourself? Yes. Had you not, do you think if you tried it, you'd probably you'd be okay with it now? Not really. Because no? it's not seasoned. It wasn't like, like if I eat clams and octopus now, it's cooked like almost like pressure cooker where it's like soft and tender and I'm... It's like chewing on meat, not like literally on a bag of rubber bands. Hmm. So, no, I wouldn't eat it. So, I would say the weirdest thing, so not blue cheese, and because that's not weird, I guess. I mean, whatever. A lot of people eat it. Yeah, no, it's not weird. And I don't I don't think I even hate it the way that I hated it. Like, I I felt like... Like the way you hated green olives. Yeah, and mm-hmm. now I love them. So, there you go. My taste buds are changing. <laughs> I did though. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, oh, what was I going to say? Oh, the weirdest thing. We went to a Korean restaurant in Texas, like a whole group of us when we were in the army, and I ate a fish's eyeball. You did. That's right. It was like a fish soup, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, it was like a whole fish. Who were we with? Um, I think Sammy and Che. And- Hi, Sammy. Except I used to say that to her like that all the time. <laughs> Hi, yeah, bro. Hi, yeah, bro. <laughs> um, oh, I will say uh, what I thought was weird. It was something that was on Joe's bucket list, but I did partake in eating it, in which I did not like at all. Was the um, in Singapore the red like mutton? Bones. Oh, oh yeah, the the chili like chili, chili mutton bones chili bone it's marrow. Literally, like it's literally a plate of bones covered in this fire engine red sauce that is just like burns your face off and the whole point is well, there's, not to there, eat the meat there's a little bit of meat on there's the bone t- there, there has to be like just by nature like you can't possibly get all the meat off of the bone but the point of it is to like suck on the bones so you get all the marrow out and i just so good i i'd, I'd like marrow so good i like marrow don't get me wrong the marrow wasn't the problem it was specifically ordering a plate full of bones to get the marrow <laughs> And also that I couldn't get past that my face was on fire trying to get to the marrow. So it's purposefully made super spicy because it was like a... Agree to disagree. What, what was it? A Middle Eastern dish, I yeah. think? Yeah. Ch- so chili. Was, I can't remember. We'll have to look it up and we'll post pictures this for yes, this week. It was red. Like if you picture, if you can think of like what a red sports dye car. number five... If if you ever wanted to eat a, plate is. a sports car because of its color, that's what color it was. I don't think anybody's ever wanted to do that. But. Okay, well, <laughs> they're lost. <laughs> All right, guys. Once again, thank you for listening. Be safe. Money, please. <laughs> Money, please. <laughs> be safe. Don't Wash be your hands. Gross. Don't be gross. Wash your hands. All right, bye-bye. Bye. This has been a Getting to Know Brews presentation. Music provided by purpleplanet.com. That's purple-planet.com.